Hey, I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, AT&T jumps on the smartphone upgrade bandwagon, online ad networks aim to sync pirate sites, and researchers use iPods to listen to the rainforest. Hot on the heels of T-Mobile's new jump plan, AT&T has introduced its own way to put a new smartphone in your eager hands more often. Spoiler alert, it's stupid. AT&T's next plan is essentially a phone rental plan. Instead of paying a subsidized 200 bucks for a new iPhone and being locked into a two-year contract, with Next, you pay nothing up front and $32 monthly installments for the phone. The catch is that you're committed to service with AT&T until you pay off the phone. And the installment plan lasts 20 months, with an option to pay off the balance or trade in the device and upgrade after 12 months. Another catch is that the rate plans haven't changed. They still include the cost of subsidizing phones on two-year contracts. Are you totally confused now? Of course you are. It's AT&T. But fear not, we have a full side-by-side -side breakdown of the new plan costs in the mobile section right now. The latest tool in the fight against online piracy is aimed at taking the funding away from alleged pirate sites. Until now, rights holders' best recourse against pirate sites was to seek takedown notices for copyrighted content. But a new scheme will provide a way to inform ad networks of copyright infringement and potentially remove ads and revenue from pirate sites. The agreement was brokered by the U.S. government and includes ad networks hosted by Yahoo, Google, Microsoft, AOL, and others. While this sounds good in theory, it's likely to have little to no effect. None of the top 10 ad networks used by pirate sites are part of this agreement. Have you seen the ads on the pirate sites? Yeah. Tracking endangered species in tropical rainforests is no small task. It's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. I mean, they are endangered. So, probably hiding. Anyway, to expose the incognito critters, scientists at the University of Puerto Rico are turning to their iPods. Using an automated recording app, the scientists transform their pods into remote listening posts. The app takes 144 one-minute recordings a day and transmits them over radio to a base station. From there, the files are uploaded to servers and automatically analyzed to identify the animal species in the recording. This process eliminates holes in coverage and allows researchers to look at changes in the rainforest over time. Unfortunately, these recordings aren't being posted to iTunes. So, if you were thinking about building some sort of custom jungle boogie playlist, you'll have to figure something else out. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.